Okay. All right. So now I'm about to season the birds, and I am putting some pepper, and I've already salted down the birds, and now I'm I'm peppering the birds. I am going to put some onion powder and some garlic on the birds, and garlic really adds a lot of flavor, but it's very powerful in the porter in the powder form. So please don't use a whole lot of that because you'll have a very garlicky, nasty bird. Um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to put some onion powder on the bird because we're grilling it. I, you know, no, oh. if I was roasting, yeah, if I was roasting it, I would normally just put fresh vegetables on the bird, but because we're putting it on the grill, I am putting um, herbs on, just on the bird itself. And we've got some basil here that we're going to put on the bird. And what we're going to do is we're going to grill a rosemary dill basil chick, uh, turkey here. And we're going to put the dill weed on. And we're going to make sure he's sufficiently rubbed afterwards. We're going to put a little oil on him and a little um, white wine vinegar on him. And I'm looking for my rosemary, and I can't find it. Mm -hmm. I have so many spices in here. Oh my gosh, honey, where's my rosemary? You know? Oh, sage. Got to put sage on the bird. All right, rosemary. that I have waited till 3 o'clock Arizona time to start cooking, but I am only cooking for two people. So it's not like a house full of people who are waiting right. for this mess. It's only us, and we're used to eating at 9 or whatever. I don't see the rosemary in there. I don't see it either, and that's really weird because we always have rosemary. Oh! Okay. Rosemary. Right in. Okay, and as you can see, we put this on here. And we put the herbs on first because I really want them to get a saturation. But I'm going to also put a little olive oil, and this may be a little bit dangerous with the grill, but I'm just going to put a very little, just enough to make a rub. Okay, see, just a very little bit, and a little bit of white wine vinegar. And if my husband blows up, he blows up, but I doubt seriously if he'll blow up. I love him. I love you. Mm. I love you to blow up. And see, what we're making today is gourmet chicken, gourmet turkey, as opposed to just your normal turkey. And so then we're going to take our hands and we're going to first get some food. And we're going to roll the turkey. Let me rub you the right So give way. it a massage. I'm giving it a massage. Let me rub you the right way. So that all of the ingredients are completely saturated into the bird. Since we didn't do a marinate, since we didn't marinate the bird, normally you would want to marinate if you want to add flavors, but because we're grilling, we can add the herb, we can do a rub, and the, the herbs will be nicely rubbed into the And all of the ingredients will be nicely rubbed into this turkey. Mmm. Yeah, you don't feel so good, Mr. Turkey. I don't like rubbing you. You don't feel so great. <laughs> you actually feel kind of icky. <laughs> well, it'll be the right way. <laughs> For those who are DJs, you know, like scratching records. Yeah, but that's Johnny Gill back in the day. which my mother has instructed me to wash the turkey with warm water, which I did. And now I'm herbing the turkey and marinating the turkey. Um, it's not a real, it's not a true marination. It's not truly being marinated because it didn't sit, but it's being rubbed. And this is a rub. 
it will still get a good catch on the because of the rub because I'm actually rubbing the turkey it'll still get a good catch on these herbs and things but to get a really good infusion of flavor you need to marinate it but he bought it yesterday that thing's been sitting in the refrigerator so we're not marinating it we're rubbing it and now that thing is ready for the grill my dear all right all right let me wash my hands Ew. always wash your hands when you're dealing with dealing with cows whether it be chicken or a turkey always We got Germex here, we got all of it, we got stuff. We are not trying to get sick because I already had that flu, whatever it was. Yeah, we're not trying to do that. Sound and melody will not be the business right now. <laughs> okay, how do you look, Papa? Alright, and so. We're gonna, and as you can see, we got a couple more things happening here. We've got some cranberry sauce that's gonna be happening. Some sweet potatoes I'm gonna mash down. Mash also, I'm doing a white potato mash. And we've got the gravy that's happening here, and we also have the, the, the dressing that's happening here. And I'm not putting the dressing inside of the bird. That just makes the bird get more fats and things inside of them. And we're doing that healthy because we're doing that healthy. Hello, Pax. Yeah, honey, can you... Okay, I'll hold the camera now and you put the turkey in. Antonio will be putting the turkey in. Oh, he did that perfectly. All right, let's put it on the grill. Let's put it on the grill, baby. Let's do it. We're like a low-rent down home with the Neelys. We're just not on the Food Network. <laughs> Oh. Ah, we have to put it breast up, babe. Breast up, which means you have to turn it over, right? Breast up. Is that staying up? Uh, I think we take that out if we're gonna grill it. I think that's like a temperature thing. No, honey, no. You have to actually put it on the grill. Oh. You don't put it in the aluminum. The aluminum pan actually. Okay. Yeah, put it on the grill. Okay, um, yeah, just dump it on the grill, babe. It's just us. Hold that. It's not like we're trying to impress. It's hot. Okay, yes, it is hot, honey. It's Phoenix. Everything is hot here. Okay, yeah, there you go. There you go, Mr. Man. And cover. And we'll be back in about two hours with that turkey. Of course, Mr. A will come out here and check it every once in a while. Come on, ducks. He will come out and check it every once in a while so that we are sure that we are not um, destroying our food. But I will give the camera back to him because he's the true cameraman, not me. I'm just talking. Wait a minute. My hands are wet. I am so sorry, Mr. Man. The cameraman should know when to hold a camera. What? Not when it's wet. Excuse me. The cameraman knows, not, not me. Uh, that, and see, look at that. Okay, so now I don't know why he bought two cans because there's only two people, so we gotta go to a break. We're at nine minutes, and you still only lost ten. What? We need to go to a break. Okay. Well, we're gonna. Because you still only lost ten minutes. Okay. Um, when we come back, I will be doing a mash on these sweet potatoes, and I will be adding some ginger and some sage and some sugar to those. And um, we will also, all I'm going to do with the cranberry juice is just to kind of get it out the can. Yep, this is Trinity doing your modern day total chefery on a budget, whatever. I love to cook. I wish I could be a chef, but I'm not. But my husband does have the technology. Okay, wrap it up. To um, put me on YouTube. So, I'm on YouTube and... Wrap it I'm wrapping it up. We'll be back. <laughs> this is Serenity, and I'm cooking Thanksgiving dinner.